welcome to the skinny. Look what happened. I made my 75. I lost one pound for a total of 75.2. Point two. It was so exciting. There's a story there. There is a story. Since it's us, there's a story. Of course there is. <laughs> um, I, let me say my part of the story is I go in. I don't expect to lose, and you'll understand why in a second. I didn't expect to really make it because things came into play. So I get on the scale. My friend Christy comes up, the one from college, and I think she thought maybe if I did, she wanted to be there to support me since somebody wasn't there to support me. So she comes up, she and I get on the scale, and I'd gone down to my 75. So I go, ah! And I'm just like, but guess who's not here to hear my cry of excitement? Um, her, my side of the story. I could not help it. I informed her up front. Who's I, more important than me? I had to work. Nobody's more important than me. As I said last week, my <laughs> job is changing and we're very, 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 very busy. So I, she's like, well, you could go and weigh in beforehand. I'm like, well, I'm at my desk by 6.30 in the morning. Can so that's not break? exactly good. No, we, it didn't. it doesn't work that way. So <laughs> needless to say, I was at my desk at 6.30 and she didn't see my special moment and i thought you know i told her here's what my instructions were i wasn't following your instructions go to the meeting and don't weigh in you don't have to weigh in i was you can have a week where you don't do that no if you have a week that you I, I i it's not something you should commonly do but i thought you know what you can go partake in the meeting and i i wasn't gonna do that for two reasons because come on i'm just gonna weigh in i can't help myself it's habit that's true two I really didn't think I was going to make it because once I found out she wasn't going to the meeting, I ate my weekly. So I thought, there's no way I'm going to lose. So you to tried to self-sabotage for me? I did. See? You sh Aww. See? She should be just really like bowing to the princess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Moving on. We're a little slap happy. <laughs> it's early morning. That's my line. We're a little slap happy <laughs> because it's really early this morning. It is early. We're driving up to Greenville, Ohio with our friend Christy. They're having their Annie Oakley days. It's an event where they sell fried Twinkies. We're screwed. <laughs> we used to say we're packing a little cooler. We're packing a lunch. <laughs> no to the fried Twinkies. Oh my no Lord. No to the funnel cake. The fried everything. Let's just put it to you that way. Like fried everything. We're just going to call that out. So Kim said, "What? let's talk about what you want to talk about on your special day. I did. <laughs> and I, since I missed the meeting, I don't know what people chatted about. I missed what my peeps said and we talked in the conversation. Yeah. I so, missed it. So here's her meeting. So this is her meeting. So this is mine kind we, of too. We did talk about multiple things, but um, what I kind of wanted to talk about was the, I feel like the three things that have really got me to this point, because they do ask this in a meeting. Sometimes a leader, if there's a big loss, they'll give you a charm and they'll ask you, what got you here? What what are the few things that really Which got you where they you are. didn't because I always say. Yeah, because she, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty normal. So, I, I thought about it and I thought, you know, I'm 10.5 from goal weight. So, I thought if I had to say three things that kind of got me to this point, of course, I'm going to say number one is Weight Watchers as a whole, but really yeah. beyond the scale for me. The new plan? I, yeah, I, I think the new plan has really changed my life. It's changed me and my feeling and my my relationship with food well and, the journey's not all about the number anymore yeah and which and, is a big deal in activity and what in just living and loving mm -hmm. life i think it encompasses all of that when you agree it's true i i think the new plan has really overall changed the game it has um for lack of a you know just of like a little quick term it's changed the game and it's things are different yeah. um but that's never a bad it. thing. I love it too. I, still I, love I think it. it makes smart you, points are the best. You know, sometimes when you're focusing on the number, because that's what a lot of times you do when you're losing weight. And yes, you, you do. You, you need do. something shiny sometimes <laughs> to distract you and focus you yeah. and look at other things other than that number. Yeah, because that number, that can, number can kind of be like that. It can defeat you. And, and so and yeah. you want to look at everything and not just that number. Don't let that number like. So you're excited break it down. about making other goals now. It's not it's always like, just that number goal. Oh my God, I got on a big well, horse and I lived to tell, tell the, the tale. tale. <laughs> it's that. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, I, and I have to say, I had one of my little moments today because I was looking for a specific shirt to wear with what I'm wearing. And this was in my sister's closet and I couldn't wear it because it was from my niece who's really skinny and I just want to beat her um she's naturally skinny yes yeah, she's just yes yeah, she is and this was too big for her and she gave it to Kelly 
and I couldn't wear it. I tried it on and it didn't fit. Well, I'm wearing it today. So, you know, it's mine. Again, it's those, those little things too with the on the okay, scale. What are your other two? Number two is honesty, which we always say is honesty with myself, mm -hmm. honesty about the cake, about the you knowing that if I'm going to do something, I got to be honest with, my, with myself and say, yes, I have that. And I should probably really count it honestly. Yeah. You know, and if I don't, who pays the piper? Right, it's just you. And honesty with, I'm going to my meeting, even though I probably gained three pounds. I'm going <laughs> anyway. I'm being honest with myself. I'm, I'm, I'm going for it, and not putting those blinders on. Yeah, but, you know, you can blinders are bad. You can convince yourself of anything on this plan to get you what really, you want. You really kind of can. <laughs> How can I get a piece we of could, cake and not count it? We could, we could talk ourselves into anything. Oh, that just never happened. La 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 la. And we did enough. that a lot when we did Weight Watchers in the Before. past. Oh, we were the, we were the, oh, this didn't happen. Oh, I probably gained weight this week. Let's just, Let's not, just go. not go. And then we'll lose this week and go. Yeah. And then we'll lose the next week. And then suddenly you've missed five weeks. And, and it's, it's over. a slippery slope. Slippery slope. I need a t-shirt. It says slippery, slippery slope. slope. So we don't, we made it, actually made that deal when we, we joined again. Yeah. We're not going to do this. True. Okay. One Number seven. three is acceptance and acceptance is accepting the fact that this we've is talked not about all this before yeah temporary you're not doing this till it's you true. lose your weight and now you can eat whatever you want accepting yep. that this is forever true the sooner you do that my new life the better <laughs> my new life because if you when you when you see this is i'm just gonna lose my weight and then i'm done then you gain your weight you well, will gain you, your weight well, back you kind of are done <laughs> You'll gain your weight back. Because you're going to gain your weight back. And also the weight loss part is more, um, you you don't feel like you have to be a speed demon when the reality is you accept that you're doing this yeah. forever. So what does it matter if well, it's taking you longer than you thought it would? And there is a plus to not being the speed demon, not knocking people who do no, lose equipment. not at all. Good for you. Yeah. Um, the I'm plus <laughs> for me is to losing it slow is something that I, it's almost like my body knew I needed it. I almost knew that I needed time to to live this way and accept that I'm this way and to this is just my new normal. Yep. And I think my my mind and my body had caught up to that. Yeah. And I think I needed that. Maybe not everybody needs it, but I kind of did. Well, Didn't know I needed it, but I did. And you you this becomes your life way and, of and life. it's no longer a trial and a and It's a like pain oh, I'm the gonna weight watchers for now. Yeah, it, it just is it's who you are. Mm -hmm. So and then it's like yeah. this is my life, this you know? Life. And so it's not I'm not I'm like racing to the finish line like yeah. you know, because well, I know it's gonna get there. Yesterday at work our boss bought lunch and <laughs> yeah. um your lunch story. My lunch story. And I took mine with me because I don't didn't know what they were gonna order. I mean Which there's usually, tons of stuff nearby and they could have gotten pizza, pizza or whatever <laughs> and and I wasn't gonna do that. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm close to my 100. I've got to kind of hardcore it. Life is too short, and po points are too short to get crappy yeah, pizza. To get crappy pizza. <laughs> so, and they, and they said, well, we would have yeah. picked a place you could go. And I'm like, well, I didn't want you yeah. to have to do that. I don't want people to have to eat around me. I mean, my closest friends, yeah, they're sucking it up. Because <laughs> you're my closest friends. You're gonna do that for me. You're paying the piper. Yeah, but other people, <laughs> I'm not gonna ask that of. My closest friends, they get it and they love me. They're paying the piper. But I'm not asking other people to put up with that. <laughs> That's funny. Because um, <laughs> they're not invested. And um, wow. and I said, you know, I said, when it comes down to it, what you guys are going to choose for lunch to me is not pizza or whatever is not worth it. I'd rather be thin than eat pizza. And I said, he's like my off hit a comment. I'd rather be thin than eat pizza. I'd rather be thin than eat at McDonald's. I'd rather be thin than eat, you know, a yeah. dozen donuts. I mean, there's just so many things that I would rather give up. I would honestly rather give up some things. And that hit me yesterday when I was, okay, I was driving around all day. I went shopping. Here's my new shirt. It's my non-gift to yourself. Gift to myself. But, you know, I, I was driving around, and of course I'm thinking, I lost 75 pounds. I lost 75 pounds. And the whole day, I just felt like, really good you know and I always mm -hmm. feel good now about myself which is again the byproduct of yes beyond the scale but you just me. felt excited all I did you felt pumped I you did. felt like rocky I felt like it was the like you're running up the steps it was the honeymoon we're doing weight watchers you know yeah because we we talked I talked with a member yesterday and one member she was really excited and she was saying she's so motivated right now and they're newbies she realizes she, they're sisters she realizes she's in the honeymoon phase and she's taken full advantage of it which I thought was really cool that was a neat thing to yeah, the thing is she recognized it really quick and she recognizes that it's not gonna yeah. last forever and that she's gonna have what? to help couple of months a month or two a month or two it's been, no it's probably been a good six weeks yeah easy. yeah and then so her sister we were leaving and she said she was losing slower than her sister and which we 
totally understand. We get. I mean, you lost slower than me because mm -hmm. you had less to lose. Well, and even then, I, you know, everybody's different. I mean, it's she's probably going to catch up at one point and start losing a little yeah. more. It's. I said you'll even out. You yep. just have to go with it and, and embrace and it. And don't be upset by. She, she was upset because she lost. She goes, I only lost like point something. I'm like, just love that. Mm -hmm. Lo embrace it. Love your point it, too. Because... This is forever, and it's Better a loss. Better than a point two gain. It's a point two loss. Celebrate it. Any negative so, is good. I, I encourage her to celebrate it. So I think she will. I think she realizes yeah. that if if you let that number beat you down, that's the worst mistake you can make. Fake it till you make it. Yeah. Be excited about it until you're really excited about yeah. it. Sometimes you have to. <laughs> there's hey, there's days I got a, last week for one. Yeah. Or the week before I got on the scale and yeah. I gained and I didn't expect it. I mean, no. I I there was no way I was. Gaining. But you had to talk yourself all day into. But I, I'm, I feel great. But you know, it's okay. I'll, uh, it'll catch up with me. It's all right. I, I mean, feel good about myself. I kept saying that self until I embraced it. Yep. You, you just do. I mean, you have to. Yeah. It's self-talk. It is. And self-talk is actually something they mention in our lovely little book. This one? Yeah, the one we're giving away today. Ooh. Um, that, there's a chapter on self-talk in there. And I think there's... Which I totally believe. There's a lot to be said about self-talk. Again, and, we say fake it till you make it all the time. And sometimes you just have to, to really talk to yourself and really... Um, get yourself to embrace something. Well, if you've um, lost point or an attitude, even if you have to, if you've lost half a pound, what do you find? What can you find in your house that weighs a half a pound? Pick it up. Go, go Probably get a half a pound of thought. a ham or turkey and go, okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm rocking half a pound. Yeah, pound of lunch meat in your fridge. Whoa. You know, do what you have to do yeah. to, to embrace it, to embrace it. So anyway, that, that's my story to tell. And you're sticking to it? And I'm sticking to it. Okay. And so it was a great day and I was Yay. really excited and um, I'm hoping to have a great week because, you know, now my next goal is because I'm at 145.5. It's the actual goal. So my goal is to get under the 145 just so I feel okay. like I'm tr entrenched in it. So my next goal is my 100. So I'm there. But that Wait, will, what I before I... <laughs> Before I hit the 100, my next, I will probably hit in the 150s. Yeah. So that's actually going to have my, really my next immediate that's goal. Exciting. That's going to happen first yeah. before I hit that. And so, take, take all those little, little, little tiny things. Moments. I'm in the 140s, you know. Wearing some the shirt that was a hand-me-down that you all really those wanted and up. you couldn't wear because it didn't fit you. All those things add up. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about. Last week we yeah. showed, and we hadn't had any of these yet, but it was the Weight Watcher Strawberry It's the current cream. food fave for oatmeal. sure. Oatmeal. Oh my lord. And I'm not saying this because we ate it like oatmeal. We didn't eat it like oatmeal at all. Not Ew. once. It went into the banana bread. The little loaf of banana bread. Yes. Holy the, crap. You take this. Ma one mashed banana. Mm -hmm. A third cup of egg beaters. Mix it up. Spray it, pour it in, and you've got a four-point loaf. 350. 350 for 20, 20 to 25 minutes. My oh, oven's 25. my heavens. Oh, my word. And then you heat we it up. We actually split the loaf. You heat it up. For two points. Put a half a <laughs> cup of strawberry halo top, oh. which is our other new favorite for the week. Oh, my lord. And you have a luscious strawberry Scotia, uh, the um, uh, light Hershey syrup. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> that was my dessert favorite thing of this the week. week. And it you was had crazy. it several times and Multiple you still times. made 75. And I, yeah. And, but I, of course, I always count it. You oh, know. yeah. Two points for that. Two points but the for the halo top. Flavors. And a one point for the. Yeah. Strawberry there you go. flavor is Five luscious. points. You know, it's really good. Um, so that's that's my food favorite. Um, two other, I want to share a couple things with you that we've talked about in the past. The Arnold Palmer Zero, I just have to share. I know Kroger has it on sale for 77 cents, and we talked about that a couple weeks ago, and they still have the sale going on. Yeah. But CVS has it right now. I think it started yesterday. Um, four of them for $2. So cheap, 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 50 cents each. Yeah. Um, so if you love, love those. those and are trying to find them, try CVS. Odd place, but hey, a little weird. We stopped by GNC yesterday because she wanted to get something. And yes. we don't usually go into GNC and we've discovered yeah. it's now become the mecca for like protein stuff. Like and powder bars and, and bars. I saw, never, I've Quest never bars. seen so many Quest bar flavors Crazy. in my entire life. Crazy. I don't like Quest bars, no. but I know a lot of people do. Yeah. Um, so if you're looking for variety, there you go. Go to GNC, and it's probably a little more expensive than some of the places you're used but, to finding it. Wow. But, but if, if you you're desperate, want variety, it's awesome. If you're desperate, but and you're like, I we need were a quest looking. Bar. We thought while we were in there, I thought if there's bars here. I'm gonna look at the think, the think, the think thins. Oh, those are hard. They to need say. to change that name. They do. And they had this. Actually, this one. Oh, I'm this gonna say good. this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna show first because 
I've always heard about this one on Connect. It's the chocolate almond brownie. And look how we specifically that looks. only look for five point ones. I will not eat one that's more than five. If I had more points than thirty a day, then maybe. I would. But I'm not. No, that's not yeah. happening. So this, you know, I'm dying to try. I can't wait. This I found at Kroger right after I ran into yeah. Kroger for fruit and just was by the organic section and I saw. Oh, they have a lot of Think Thin here too. They oh, did. I got that right. Ooh, that was good thin. without tongue twister. And it's a protein nut bar. Yeah. It's and looks that delicious. looks, I believe this one it's is coconut. actually, I believe this one's actually six. And it's coconut almond. And this one I would probably just split with you. Probably, um, but, it, but I had to get I it. I had six. to get it because this is a different think thin. And I'm like, we're going to try that yeah. just because it's different. And it's a nut bar versus yeah. like a, so it looks interesting. Yeah, seven points is just too much for me. As yeah, I, th I believe this one came up to be six. So I think we're just, we bought one or yeah. honestly, we just want to check okay. it out. Um, and I think, okay, my non-food fave, of course, is my shirt. I love my shirt. I found it last night at, God, what, we were at TJ Maxx or Marshalls? Marshalls. It was in Marshalls. Marshalls. And I saw it on the hanger, and it was like, oh, it's a medium. I looked at it. Kim made me pull it over my shirt. I was just going to buy it. And it fits perfectly. I love it. Well, I thought if it was too tight or too big for her, it'd be mine. No. I wouldn't have bought it. I would have bought the small. <laughs> Why would have bought that? What are you one? talking about, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> My fave, I found, strangely enough, it's at, um, we went to TJ Maxx, right? Was it TJ Maxx we were in? What was the other oh, one? I can't remember. It was late. <laughs> it was late. Oh, my gosh. Was that? Wait, what no, else? Marshall's. This was Marshall's, Marshall's too. I believe. Oh, God. I don't even remember. I got to look. Does it matter? I don't know. Whoever has the, the red stickers, I got nothing. That's the clear stickers. That's really sad. Um... One of those. Of course, it's a and Stemma because we Stemma love them. It's a product, and it was on clearance, so I was like, oh, my God. And yeah. they had two, so I grabbed one it's for called her, too. The, I love the it because it's called the lunch tub. The lunch tub. Isn't that the cutest thing? Is that cute? The lunch tub. But I could put my sandwich in the bottom. Grapes are on one side here, and um, and uh, the the Laughing Cow Wedge on the other. Chips yeah. and pickles in the bottom, like a Ziploc baggie of my pickles, and then my chips. And this fits nicely into our lunch bag. It does. I can just slide it's it down. Right in. Because my concern with my lunch bag is if I put other things in it, like drinks and things, that I'm going to smash. Gonna, it's going to smash my chips and smash, smash my, my stuff. <laughs> my sandwich. My sandwich is usually my system. It is, but this way it could all just be in one big container. Yeah. And go. And sometimes when we pack, we'll pack a lunch if we go bike riding. And this, this would just fit right into this. my. It would fit right into my. Right um, into your um, basket. And if you're running by, I think it's Mar not Marshall's, but the, darn it, the other one. Where were we? Oh, Burlington. Was it Burlington, Burlington Coat Co Factory. Factory. Clearance section. We were late. We were out late. 99. We went to get pedicures late because we're weird. We're weird. And then it was like, okay, it's They were just late. closing for crying out loud. <laughs> so we were like, okay, let's just shop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. On to our giveaway. Giveaway. Our giveaway. success handbook. Let's show what it's going to... We're giving away. We want to, of course... I'm going to take this off. Take I'll put it back on. Okay. Our success handbook, of Yay. course. And then we have... We're also sending a to-go uh, Sistema noodle bowl, and it's really cute. It vents. You could put soup or noodles yeah, in it. Yeah, she could do the oatmeal in that, too. We just, yeah. I've never seen the Love noodle bowl, one. so we grabbed it. And, of course, I got a little baby whisk. You know, we talked about the baby whisks in the past. We love our baby whisks. We love our baby whisks. And I bought two last night, so I'm going to surrender one. I'm going to give one away. Giveaway. So, here we have all the names. Thank you so much for participating. Yes. Go down and look at everyone's comments, because guess yeah. what? Who knew white asparagus? actually existed. I've never So I will be trying that because I, I love asparagus. I will be hunting that down. So let's take a look. See, got one. I think so. Sure it's not one. Miriam Mel Meltzer. Miriam Meltzer. It's your handwriting. It's my handwriting, You're which is horrifying, we were by the way. writing very, very fast because there's a lot of entries. So Miriam Meltzer, please private message us so and send us your address and we'll send you your goodies. Yum. And Yum. we will see you later. later. <laughs> <laughs>